I run Outdoor Hoops. This program is basically designed to work with kids around HRM, uh, outdoors, and get them playing basketball again since we've been limited to our space during COVID-19. Our plan was to come outside and get as many kids from as many age groups as we could and travel around the city working with them at their home courts or at their home playgrounds. And it's expanded from workouts to being able to use our tool, which is basketball, as a community resource to build foundation and build relationships that can go further than basketball. We're gonna start with our left foot and we're gonna move left, going in and out of the square, each square, okay? On balance, no rush, no rush. When you're looking at all of the outdoor courts, you see people from all walks of life, from all different communities using courts that maybe we didn't even think of uh, in the past. So when Matt put this together and opened for 20 athletes within the community uh, and 20 athletes outside of the community, it made sense in bringing people together instead of staying kind of in your own pockets. I know right now, being out in Timberley, if I were to go play basketball, I'd play basketball out in, out in my community. So it was really neat to see uh, different people from different backgrounds and different ages out on the court today. When I was younger, this stuff never happened. So like, you'd play with kids if you're from the square, you'd play with kids from the square, you're from Bedford, you'd play with kids from Bedford. And like, it would kind of be your own regions, but now like there's multiple kids coming in from different communities, which they can then create a bond as well that could go on to last longer than what you really expect. And it's just kind of to get different perspectives from different communities to come together. You're out here first thing in the morning, um, fresh air, getting up at it and, and getting active early. Um, also being able to interact with kids from all over metro and surrounding areas. I think uh, what Matt and his group has done this today is, is amazing. Um, and for him to invite me to be a part of it, I'm really excited about it. They get to play with like people that like are not from their community. So they get a, a chance to make new friends. I feel like that's what they like the most. They get to see people who they don't normally see every day. So they had to make new friends and meet new people. It really brings communities together and helps the kids a lot with uh, just the fundamentals of basketball and teaching them the skills to improve their game. And there hasn't been really a lot of opportunities for them with, with COVID. And I think it, it really benefits them in a, in a positive way. It's, it's everybody bounces the ball. Everybody's on the same court. Everybody can get the same skills if they work hard enough, and it's not about where you come from. I was 100% on board, especially being able to raise money and donate it back to the communities um, in order to maybe help, I don't know, refurbish or, or do something else that the community needs. One of the things is we were able to get student athletes from all over to come in that live in the city, and we want those guys to be working in the communities and giving back. And I think it's really important at a young age, if you have the ability to, to go out and actually put yourself in the community, show yourself and really work with a younger group because they'll be the same group that comes to watch you play when you go to the Metro Center or you play at St. Mary's. So why not spend your time giving back to them? It kind of tells them like, you don't have to be in like a, a cone of your, I mean a shell of yourself. Like you can step outside of your comfort zone, like me not being from here, it's not gonna stop me from helping other kids, you know? So, I mean, I, I hope, it influences them, but I hope they look at it and, you know, try to do what I'm doing someday. So we're just looking to get the get the kids out, and with COVID and all, it's there hasn't been a lot of events like this. So we're just looking to get the kids involved and kind of give like a give back to the community a little bit. And when you see something like this, it really really uh, secures Halifax as really a basketball community and definitely definitely a sport that's on the rise. With these kids age one time as well and it was just really nice to have like older kids in the community come back and like do stuff with me because it makes it just makes you feel a lot better. The way that the world is going right now and the way that kind of I think my responsibility as an adult and as an educator uh, is I need to use my platform which is basketball and education and use it as a tool to connect people in different communities and to have these discussions and to kind of open up the conversation about equality and where we need to be in the world and how we need to work with each other uh, to become better as one. And so we use basketball as that opportunity and basketball as that tool and the language to be able to bring kids together, unite them and hopefully by the end of it build friendships. The benefit in the long run is to, like for the kids to see like that people actually care about them and want to like help them to get better, you know? So I feel like that's the biggest benefit from it. 
I think doing something like this year over year, whether it's in this specific community or within communities across Nova Scotia, uh, it gives athletes a chance to be creative. I think that's something as coaches we tend to forget because when we get athletes, they're in uh, team structure. So we're talking about uh, team offenses, team defenses, and we, we sometimes lose sight of the actual skill development of each individual athlete. An event like this is special, uh, but the biggest thing that people have to understand is it's not about us, it's about the community and it's about getting people together. So if we're able to continue to grow as one and bring others together and meet new people, then our goal is already achieved. There's no, there's no better feeling than knowing that people are coming together.